the UFC welterweight division matchup. Ready. So here we go with round one, and when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans seem pretty clear. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. The striker needs to stay at space. The striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. Oh, huge knee to the head. He could be in trouble here. Just out of range with that right hand. Can't take many of those. You better check. Vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these guys. Check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Big elbow there, Lance. Nice. Ooh. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh, straight right. Both guys landing in a pretty decent clip. Punch coming, it's blocked. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Now connects with the right. Uh. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination of top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. Oh, big punch lands. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Strong defense there to block the shot. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Gets the elbow up into the target. on the elbow. DC second round is getting right, underway. Right. Round one, right. not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. <laughs> He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And that left hook landed on the button. Watch the shot. Oh, nice counter jab there. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice straight punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny does. Johnny does. Really good. Really good. Really good. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt? Oh. Oh. He's hurt. Serve him up. We'll get him. No. Oh. oh. Every 
time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Gets up again here, but Hurton. Big leg kick land. Good stick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, big elbow. Lands a big elbow there. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Another jab now, just snapping that thing off. You see. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been. Oh, oh. Finished now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Whoa! Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Scraps so far. All right, so his legendary chin holds up despite getting knocked down in that previous round. DC, take us through the highlight. He's as tough as they come. There has not been a guy that can take shots like this. Most times, the night would be over. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. Moving the adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. An elbow! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, nice right here. Breathe. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And he landed the right hand there. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off uh -huh. with the uppercut. <laughs> It was placed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Well, now these strikes are really... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Liver kick. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Blocks that strike. to stop his opponent right there in his tracks and it really takes strong technique to deliver a shot like